Today we are going to be talking all about neutral daily trainers. So those running shoes that allow us to take on a lot of that weekly training miles. Uh, the shoe we're looking at today, I actually have a lot of history with and it was my first proper technical running shoe all those years ago. And boy does time fly because we are looking at the 15th version of that shoe today. So without further ado, let's dive into the video and take the all new Socony Ride 15s out for their first run. Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and you are watching Run For Adventure. I have to say it, it's great to be back filming content because if you follow the channel or you watched our last video, then you'll be fully aware that myself and Liga have been pretty poorly lately and we've been a little bit wiped out ever since we took on that mountain bike event a couple of weeks ago. Uh, there is great kit, shoes and gear turning up at the channel so it's all a bit stacked up at the moment um, the good thing about that means that there's going to be lots of great running content heading your way as we try and catch up so today we are starting with these bad boys the all new ride 15. Just before we take them out on their first run, I'll just give you guys a few facts and figures and a bit of information about the changes that have been made. When I say changes, this is pretty much a completely different running shoe when you compare it to the previous Ride 14. So they now retail in the UK for a penny under 130 pounds. Weight wise, it has been on a pretty substantial diet. So only weighing in at 266 grams now in a men's UK 9.5 and just holding the shoe, it feels really well balanced in hand. We have got the same eight mil offset on the heel, but you get a much deeper level of cushioning from that softer blend of power run compound. We've got a completely redesigned lightweight upper construction that actually now uh, includes some recycled fabrics, which, you know, we're actually seeing a lot of that in the running industry and if I'm honest it's about time guys uh, we've got this uh, engineered mesh fabric that's been used with some nice perforations around the toe box and the midfoot just for a bit of increased airflow good levels of padding around the ankle in the heel cup and in that gusseted tongue so it should feel pretty plush wrapped around my foot lastly we've got this new sort of locking system on the lace setup just to ensure a nice sort of lockdown secure feel around your midfoot moving down to that new deeper midsole and like i mentioned before Socony have used a softer blend of power run compound this time round. so kind of following on suit with the whole running shoe industry with everything getting softer and softer We've got that deeper, more rockered profile on that new midsole. And Socony have also worked in a bit more contouring. So your foot's going to sit a bit deeper in the shoe this time, just to give that foot a nice hug so it feels nice and plush, but also very stable. Very similar to what you get in the new Peregrine 12, you also get in the rides now. So a pair of the deeply cushioned, very bouncy Power Run Plus insoles that definitely help to put a spring in every step very much like the boomerang footbeds that I love in the Innovate shoes. And moving down to the outsole, and you can see we've got a completely new design here as well. We've got quite a lot of sculpting going on. So again, a bit of a weight saving measure, but I think these grooves will help when it comes to midsole flexibility as well. Uh, you can see we do have quite a lot of exposed EVA on that outsole this time round. I've got to be honest, I'm never a big fan of this and I would much rather see a full blown rubber outsole so on a daily training shoe. Although to be fair, the Kinvara from Socony has always had a lot of exposed EVA and this power run compound seems to hold up to the mileage really well. You can see a massive overhaul for the Ride franchise and I personally think it's what's really been needed when it comes to the Ride model and this new update has brought the shoe right up to speed. I think it feels great in my hand. It looks awesome in this acid lime colorway, but I suppose the only way we're gonna know if this update is a success is by running in the shoes. I've been hearing lots of great feedback from you guys about the new Ride 15, but without further ado, let's get them on our feet, let's get running, and we'll see you guys out on the road. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. Right, 
Right, so we've just run up to the top of the hill to try and escape some of that traffic noise. Now, if you're new to our sort of first impressions when it comes to road shoes, what we tend to do is go out for a nice sort of steady six or seven miles. We tend to work in a couple of miles of sort of quicker tempo stuff just to see how the running shoe handles a bit of pace. But I can definitely say that is not gonna be happening today. We are just gonna be doing a nice steady six to seven miles. No speed work, nothing like that. The weekend just gone, I took part in the Southwest Traverse, a race down here in Cornwall as a three-man relay. And I ran the last 15 mile section. Anyone that knows the Southwest Traverse knows that that last 15 miles is pretty challenging. And my legs feel <laughs> completely trashed, even though we're three days later. I think we're not sort of running, being ill, all those other things. I think my legs just feel a lot worse than they normally would. I had a massage. I spent lots of time in my myo pumps to try and flush out all them toxins, get rid of the DOMs, but they're still pretty heavy and they're still pretty stiff. So like I said, just steady running today. Uh, we've actually made a full uh, race day video of the Southwest Traverse. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. But let's get on to with today's run. We've done two miles exactly. And I can already feel this is a very different ride shoe compared to say the previous three or four models. And it's, it's feeling pretty good. But yeah, let's get on with the run. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in Currently three and a half miles into the run and like I mentioned when we were back at the flat that Sockney were claiming that this was a new softer blend of power run compound and I definitely have to agree it's uh, it feels very plush very soft but it also feels very responsive I think the combination of that new power run compound and that very soft bouncy power run plus insole making the shoe feel super lively and dare I say it almost sort of endorphin like underfoot not quite as responsive as say the speeds or the pros but this is a ride this is a daily training shoe and the midsole on the ride has always been a solid performer but I would never call it exciting it's just a solid daily trainer whereas this actually excites me it feels great to run in so first impression so far when it comes to that new midsole Fantastic! I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day because I found my way. Right, four mile check in and lots to discuss, that's for sure. Not only is that midsole feeling really good, but the upper's feeling nice and plush as well. I've always got on with the fit of Sockany uppers. They tend to fit my midfoot really well. This is a UK 9.5, sizes up true to size, like most of their shoes seem to. Just the right level of padding in that gusseted tongue around the ankle collar and in the heel cup. So feels really plush, really comfortable, but not over padded. So I feel nice and locked down around the midfoot and really well held in the heel cup. So first impressions are going really well. Not only a super lively midsole, but a really plush, great fitting upper as well. So thumbs up all round. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so we have made it back to where we first spoke to you and we've done what six and a half miles already so it's probably going to be more like seven miles by the time we get back home i'm trying not to get too excited about this shoe because i know it's obviously the first run in it and i've only done six and a half miles but it really does feel very very good uh, i've been bobbing along at sort of 7 45 8 minute miling it feels super efficient i think that new slightly more rocket geometry in the midsole is really helping to make the shoe feel very efficient and i'm kind of fighting back uh, running quicker i just want to up the tempo in it because it feels so lively and i i don't want to overdo it because of the way my legs are feeling but yeah you know so far so good it it really does feel like i've been in the shoe for six months already and bedded it in you know and I love it when you put a shoe on and you, you can't really notice you're in a running shoe and that's exactly how I'm feeling in the Ride 15. But, you know, that's enough of me waffling on. Let's get back to the flat and let's break down the performance on this first run in a bit more detail. Well, I'm sure you can tell from my reaction out there on the run 
that that first outing went very, very well. And it has to be right up there with one of the best first runs I've had in a running shoe, just because I'm so surprised how much the ride has changed in a positive way. Uh, I've mentioned on the channel before that I've got a lot of history with the Ride franchise and the original version of the shoe was actually my first ever technical running shoe many, many years ago. Since then, I've run and reviewed several different versions of the shoe from the slightly uninspiring Ride ISO and Ride ISO 2 to the slightly improved Ride 13. But I have to say it, this has to be the best version of the shoe to date by quite a long way. You know, it's been completely transformed from the way it looks to the way it fits and definitely when it comes to the way it runs. Loving the performance and the feel of that new midsole and I'm actually excited to get them on my feet again and take them for a run and you know, that's never happened in the rides before. It feels lightweight, really well balanced underfoot but it still has that sort of comfortable daily trainer feel but it could definitely handle a few quicker sessions throughout the week. Uh, I really picked up on that extra contouring as well in the midsole so I definitely felt like I was a bit lower in that midsole um, like the shoe was sort of hugging my foot, cradling my heel, and then you pair that up with that wide platform under your forefoot, and you know, it felt very stable and very planted, especially for a neutral trainer. I think the level of padding and plushness is perfect for a daily workhorse when we talk about the upper. Uh, it's like putting on a pair of comfy slippers, but you know, not a bulky over padded pair of slippers. This is a go faster pair of slippers. Uh, the addition of this locking system on the lace setup works really, really well. You feel nice and dialed into that midfoot, so it makes you feel very connected to the upper. And then we've got all those perforations worked into the mesh, which made it feel very airy while I was running. And it's, it definitely feels like a very breathable construction. Now, I know I'm sort of throwing a lot of superlatives around and at the end of the day, I've only taken it for one run and it was just a steady 7.5 miles. But I've got so used to hearing brands waxing lyrical about their latest version of a shoe and how it's going to be quicker, perform better, it's going to be the best, greatest version ever of the shoe. And then you get hold of it and you're left quite disappointed. It's very easy to talk a good game but I think it's quite hard to deliver. And it really does look like Socony have delivered this time round with the Ride 15. I can see myself getting a lot of my sort of steady weekly mileage in, in the new rides, and maybe the odd quicker session as well. Uh, we're gonna be getting plenty of miles in the shoe over the coming weeks, and then we'll be back on the channel with a full in-depth review. And if we go by the first impressions, I think that video is gonna be pretty positive. I've been hearing lots of great things about the updates from other the reviewers but also from you guys at home and I can totally see why now. Uh, Socony are killing it at the moment, they're on fire, they're producing some great running shoes. I'm also looking forward to some of their other shoes that are releasing later in the year. So the Exodus Ultra that's just come out, I'm trying to get a pair of them as we speak, but also coming out later in the year, the Endorphin Edge. Hopefully we can get a pair of both shoes and give them a good thorough testing here at Run For Adventure. I just wanna take this opportunity to thank Peter from Socony for sorting out a pair of the new Ride 15s for us to test and review. As you can imagine, I spend a small fortune here at the channel on running shoes. And you know, just recently last month, I spent just over 400 pounds on the two Salomon shoes and that Nike Pegasus Trail. So when the brands hook us up with shoes to test, it really, really does help. I've left a link in the description below for the new rides if you wanna find out any more information. And I'd love to hear from you guys. So if you're running in the new version, get in the comments below and let us know all about how the shoe is performing for you. Don't forget guys, if you've enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that bell icon though so you'll be notified when we upload any new running content. If you want to support the channel even more, we have a great range of Run For Adventure merch at runforadventure.uk. We've got organic tees, organic hoodies, we've got beanies, and we've got a great selection of very cool multi-wraps. 
I keep getting asked if we're going to restock the caps and we definitely are because we are currently working on a fully bespoke run for adventure running cap. Unfortunately, the first two samples that came through just weren't good enough and we want our caps to be the best caps out there. They have to be perfect. So really sorry for the delay, but we will have some running caps back in stock in the merch store soon. There you have it. That's another first impressions review crushed here at the channel. Thanks for watching guys, it's really appreciated. We will be back here very, very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. Completely different shoe when you compare it to the Ride 14. So they now, uh, feels great in my hand and I think it looks wicked in this acid. Acid? Do, 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 do.